you so much for stopping by my channel. This is Cynthia Kiwi. I am doing a water marble once again. Um, if you visited my Instagram page, you would have seen that I did an, another water marble about a week ago. It was beautiful blue. So check that out on my Instagram page. But I wanted to try it out with some pinks. And let me show you the items that I'll be using today. I'm going to use uh, Kiss Gel. And this is feminine. And the next pink is also Kiss Gel and it is Fave Tote. And the last is a very light pink. It is Narcissism. I'm also using the uh, Queen Latex Tape to go around my cuticle area. I'm also using some of these iridescent flowers, you can say. And these I picked up at uh, Sally's. It's been a while since I've had them, but I picked this up at my local Sally's. Um, for my base color, I used Is Me New York Nail Polish in the color Silvery. Well, I'm sorry. In the cover, in the color, can I can I get my words out tonight? In the color Silky Silver. Just in case I have some areas that peek through, the silver will peek through. Um, I did go ahead and do my right hand. It turned out pretty good for this to be my second water marble. I've been testing a lot, so this is this is doing this is pretty good. And as you can see, I put the little flowers on in the middle or at the points, center points of the the flowers on my hand from the water marble. So let me go ahead and show you what I've done so far on, me, uh, on my other hand. I did smear as I was cleaning up my pinky finger, but it's okay. We're going to keep rolling. I've got my ring finger this time and my thumb available to do the water marble. So let me go ahead and get my water. It's just regular tap water. And uh, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and get my bottles open. And I'm also using a dotting tool. The pointiest one I have. And this is the dotting tool I'll be using to do the water marbling. And also the... Um, a popsicle stick to swirl it and clean it up but um, let me adjust my camera because it looks like I'm gonna be focusing too much here okay so let me go ahead and start with the drops and I'm gonna swirl this around so we can get around the corners do that one quite like I want it to. Hopefully it'll spread out like I need it to. Slowly but surely. If not I'll have to just start over but let's see what we can do with this. Go in and draw it to the edges. 
looks like this is going to mess up. And I'm just dipping this uh, utensil in uh, one of those containers where you can dip your finger in and with acetone or polish remover and get your polish off. So it's, it's pretty much a sponge. This looks like it's not going to work. Looks like I might have to, yeah, looks like I'm going to have to start this one over. Let's clean this one up. All right, let's start over. one and let me get my dotting tool I'm gonna draw it from the middle just graze it ever so lightly And then I'm going to draw it in. I messed up that end, but I'm just going to choose the best side anyway that I can dip. So I'm going to dip my ring finger, and I want to kind of do it the opposite way of the rest of the finger. So I'm going to do it this direction. So I'm going to dip in and get my popsicle stick. around it and slowly bring it up try not to get bubbles but I probably will no I did pretty good on that one that turned out pretty well so now I'm going to go ahead and do just a little bit of cleanup taking my orange wood stick dip it a little bit in acetone so I can go around those corners to lift up that latex. And what I do is I just push it up from around the edges here. get it loose all the way around and then I must have my late my tweezers on the other side but I, I was able to get that off and I'm just gonna take my cotton ball and just clean around the outer side to get the rest of that off and I'll moisturize my hands later then I can go ahead and you dip my orange wood stick in some water and get one of those iridescent um, flowers. But first I'm going to put a dab of 
sash feet or a quick or just a top coat whatever you choose so I can get that on there pick up one of these little flowers and put it here in the center here and press firmly not too firmly and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the thumb so it can spread a bit and my next color I'll move these around so I won't get in the view of you seeing it I've been doing a lot of pink manicures lately guess I just want to get in the spring fever and do something with some bright colors It's a little warped, but we're gonna work with it since I'm on my last nail and it's getting late. Okay, so now I'm going to position my thumb where I want the placement to go. And I'm trying to decide, let's see, do I want to go, yeah, this direction. Dip it. And slowly bring it up. some bubbles in it not too bad okay that turned out pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up And I dipped my acetone, my orange stick in the acetone and pushed that up. Get that up so I won't mess that up. There we go. All right. And what I'm going to do next is clean up, but I just wanted to show you this beautiful water marble again let me know what you think of this manicure and thank you so much for watching Be blessed.